And now we're going to hear from Martha Hennessy, who's uh, from the Mary House Catholic Worker in New York City. Thank you all for being here. I'm addressing the W762 warheads that have recently been deployed out, out to our oceans on the Trident. And it's a, a very deceptive uh, practice. Someone asked the question in the chat room about the illusion of safety. And I think that um, this little sequence that I'm going to share with you may really illustrate how this uh, weapons buildup is just bringing us closer and closer to the brink. Um, these weapons are designed to be more usable. They are very compatible with the U.S. first strike policy. Um, each one of them carries five kilotons worth of power, a third of what was used in Hiroshima. Um, funding for this kind of warhead was blocked in 2003 because military personnel had some concerns about a uh, president um, getting it into his head to use these kinds of weapons. Um, we are looking at a 2021 budget of about $30 billion for nuclear upgrades. And of course, Congress is very supportive of this. To just give you a little bit of history um, of the timeline of how this all came to be with the launching of this warhead um, around Christmas time of this past year. I'll mention August of 2016, there were war games called Global uh, Thunder 17, and of course the target was Iran, and this was the beginnings of really thinking about making a, a nuclear war possible. March of 2017, there was a congressional hearing, and General Hyten from STRATCOM um, was glowing about how these flexible options are a very healthy thing for us. In February of 2018, we had the Nuclear Posture Review come out, and it was in this report that the W762 warheads were recommended to be added to the arsenal, and we presented um, this particular report in the courtroom um, in our pre-trial hearings. Um, this uh, system is touted as being cheap, quick, and simple. And it's based on the premise of uh, assuming that the Russians had this escalate to de-escalate uh, protocol in place, which has not been um, confirmed um, from our military speaking to the Russians. In February of 2019, the uh, first uh, warhead is completed at Pantax plant. And Representative uh, Davis at that point asked uh, General Hyten whether um, he had consulted with Russia about whether we need to have this kind of weapon system in response to what they're planning. And he said, no, we, ha we haven't done that. In August of 2019, the USS Tennessee came back to Kings Bay. It, it was on its 88th deterrent patrol. And it was um, sent there in preparation for taking on this warhead. In August of um, 2019, that same uh, month, uh, it came into the dry dock for maintenance and for refitting. And in August of uh, August 19th, there was uh, a congressional hearings, and the House Democrats pretty much caved into the funding of this particular project. You know, despite saying that the nuclear threshold is increased and uh, uh, being decreased, and the danger is increasing. And by September of 2019, the warheads were delivered to the Navy. These, war, these weapons are under the Navy's auspices. And in October of 2019, the USS Tennessee undocked, and we were put on trial October 20th. And at that point in time, they were sending out this weapon. And on December 4th, um, Under Secretary of Defense uh, Rood, one of the wolves or the hirelings of our military, at a breakfast uh, talked about how we really needed this sea launch D5 missile with this particular modified warhead. And then in late 2019, we think around Christmas time, a Christian gift to the world, it was deployed, it was sent out uh, into the oceans. And we now have a situation where um, the, the question is, are we thinking of targeting Russia or the battlefield? And it looks to be Iran. It might be Trump's decision um, to uh, target Iran. And of course, 
another one of our high priests of doomsday, um, Admiral Haney of Stratcom, I don't know if he's still in charge, he talked about, if it's necessary for us to respond, we will at any time, any place, with the uh, decision being ours. And so we have the four um, aging um, senior military officers who did speak to Newsweek recently saying, all four were concerned, they were very reluctant, that there is a Donald Trump factor involved, that there is something about this president and the new weapons that makes contemplating crossing the nuclear threshold a unique danger. Thank you.